Did you know his father used to make the sticks and stones that people used to pray to? Do you remember when we talked about that? We talked about rocks, that people carved these stones and rocks, and then they prayed to those rocks and stones. you remember? Yeah. Well, his father was the guy who made those. <laughs> the big ones, though. And man, he made one that was so big, it was bigger than human beings. And if you saw it, you might be like, whoa, look at that, you know? And he made it look like people, or he made it look like different things. And they had so many statues and so many images of so, so many things, you know? But Abraham was a young boy, you know? He looked at me and he said, that doesn't work. Because he's watching his father, you know, look at he's doing this, doing that. Now, if he wants to, he can make the statue have a big nose. He can make it have big ears. He can make it have big mouth. He can make it however he wants it. Yeah? So how could that be a God? I mean, if you can make it, how is it a God? And the people used to pray to these gods. In fact, they had a special building just for gods. They called it a temple. And in that temple, there's all these big statues and stone things and all that. You know what I mean? Abraham, he didn't like it. He told his father he didn't like it. And then his father told him, shh, shut up. Why? Well, I think, because his father is going, hey, this is my job, I'm making money, shut up. I'm, you know, I don't want to lose my job, I got a good position here. But one day, when the people were out celebrating something, doing something, they left the temple, Abraham, Ibrahim, Salam, went in the temple. He went in, and he took a big hammer, called a mallet, he had a big one, right? Bam, boom, bang, smash, crash. Boom! He broke them. Did he break them? Big time. He broke them up into little teeny tiny pieces. A mess everywhere except one. The great... How do you know the story? Great big, 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 big statue. He did. He left that big hammer right there, right beside the... by his hand, right? And he left. Now, when the people came back, were they happy? No. No way. Were they scared? Were they mad? They were angry. How angry were they? They were so mad. Who did this? Who did this to our gods? Who did this to our statues? Who? Who? Somebody said, you know, that boy of the statue maker, he's been complaining against our gods. Let's pay them a visit. And boom, boom, boom. They went to the statue maker's house. Boom, boom, boom. Hey! Where's that kid of yours? Took him back. They went to the temple. They took Abraham, Alessanam, right in there. And they said, now look at this. Look. Hmm. Hmm. Well, what do you say? He said, why are you asking me? Why don't you ask him? He's the one with the hammer. Pretty cool, huh? And look what they said. This is the part I like best. The people said, we can't ask him because he can't hear and he can't speak. Now watch out, watch out, look at this. He can't hear and he can't speak. So, what he said? So why do you worship him? Because if you need anything, you go into a stone that you, you just told me he can't hear you. So why are you praying to him? You just said he can't speak, he can't answer you, so why are you praying to him? And they went, uh, duh, uh, it's a good question. Oh, never mind that, we're mad, you know, and then they wanted him. And they were really mad, you know. Well, they decided what they're going to do. Now, there was a real bad king in those days, real bad king. He's so bad. Some people said his name is Nimrud, and I thought about this name, Nimrud. I wonder if the word rude comes from this, because he was sure rude, very rude. And I thought about it some more. Nimrud. Can you say Nimrud? Yeah, who cares? He's a jerk. Anyway, <laughs> Nimrud, what he did was so bad. He used to do horrible things. You know what he did one time? He was arguing with Ibrahim about something. 
It's mentioned in Quran, by the way, exactly what happened. Didn't you ever think about the one who argued with Haj Ibrahim? They called him Haj Ibrahim. Isn't that nice? Because he made pilgrimage, you know. And how they argued about his Lord. And so Abraham, alayhi salam, peace be upon him, was saying, my Lord is the one who is giving life and he gives death. He's trying to explain who is Allah because this man was claiming he was Allah. He said he was God, you know. And so this dummy, uh, sorry, this man, Nimrud, the rude, he said, I can give life and I can give death. Watch this. So they brought some people. He said, kill those and let those people go. He said, you see, I just gave death and I gave life. Oh, that's nasty. He killed somebody for no reason, just to show off. Horrible? Rude. Super nimrud. Then what happened? I love what Ibrahim said next. Ibrahim, alayhi salam, said, Well, my Lord is the one who makes the sun come up in the east. So why don't you make it come up in the west? Now, in this way, Allah puts down those kind of people. Because they have no answer. Look at the first thing that happened. With the breaking up the statues, huh? And look how Allah made it clear to them. Why are you speaking to statues? And anybody claim to be God, okay, make the sun stand still. Or make it go backwards. Or make the moon pop out and go away. Huh? And you can't do that. How are you God? Well, then one of my friends said, you know, a human being shouldn't say anything like that about themselves because we can't do anything. We can't. I can't move the sun. Can you? No. Can you move the moon? No. My friend said, can you even make a hair grow out of your face while we wait? I said, I don't think so. He said, you can't even do that. Then don't tell anybody you have any power because you don't have power. Only Allah has power, right? Well... That's not all that happened. That Nimrud guy, he persisted and he kept on going. Guess what happened? They said, we're going to burn up Ibrahim. He said, yep, we're going to burn him up big time. We're going to get the biggest, hugest, most gigantic fire of the world. He said, I don't want a fire. I want a fire. They're going, huh? He said, big. They said, what do you mean? Like big, you know what I mean? So they threw everything they had in the fire. They threw in the, like, you know, the furniture, everything they had. <laughs> and throw it in. Toothpicks, it don't matter. Throw it in, throw it in. Until this fire got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Until it was a big fire. It was the worst kind of fire. And then what happened? The people throwing the stuff into the fire caught on fire and died. That's how bad it was. He said, now throw him in. But the people who tried to throw him into the fire, they were burning up. <laughs> and so Allah let them understand something, a new thing they invented called the catapult. And that's when you have something like this and you <laughs> like this. You yeah. see what I did? Watch, see that? Do it. Let me see you do that. Get your finger and go <laughs> like this. Go ahead. So they put Ibrahim right on this and pull it down. And they get it down like that and let it go. And it's aimed at the fire, by the way. And bam. And he went right into the fire. Right into the fire. But look what Allah said. It's in the Quran. You can read it. Allah said, oh, fire, be cool. Not cold. It's cool. So Abraham stayed inside that fire a long time. He didn't bother him. He's like walking around going, hmm, nice fire you got. <laughs> Doesn't bother me. Why? Because I'm cool. <laughs> and so sometimes I tell the Muslims, I like to tell you guys too, we Muslims, we like to be cool. I don't think anybody is more cool than a Muslim. We're not hot and we're not cold. We're cool. We want to be cool in this life. Cool 
on the day of judgment and cool in the next life. This is a good lesson for us too. Think about this and see how it fits in your mind. In this life, sometimes you get upset, you get angry. How do you feel? Hot or cold? Hot. Really hot. You get mad. You start to feel like I'm hot. I'm so hot. I am really, really, really hot. Now, our prophet, Muhammad, sallallahu said, when you feel that hot, he said, that's the devil running through your body like your blood. What is it? The devil running through your body like your blood. And if, what's the devil made out of, remember? Fire. fire. Smokeless fire. So that's why when you get angry, shaitan makes you get hot. You start getting really hot. I'm getting hot. I'm getting... And but Prophet Muhammad Sassam said, whenever you get angry and you're standing up, what should you do? Sit down. And also, you get hot like that, make wudu. What is wudu when we wash? You know, we wash our hands, we wash our face, we wash all over ourselves. And we do that so many times every day, even before we pray, five times a day, washing, cooling down. So we're always cool. Cool, cool, cool. Take it easy. Don't get upset. Well, for right now, though, let's say what we always say at the end of something or the beginning of something. When we greet people, we say, Assalamualaikum. Wa alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be unto you and Allah's mercy and his blessings. And that's how we end each one of our little programs. And we ask Allah to always keep us in this way and make it easy for us and show us the message of his prophets. Amin. Oh, oh.